Domestic violence, it never, ever stops, especially here in the USA. This lady here, age 37, newsfeed claims age 27. Leanne Ramos, again, age 37, gunned down November 28th. 2023 in Tannersville, Pennsylvania. This continues to happen. And we hate to see it. We hope you do too. But ladies, today is different. It's time. It's time. Get trained and get armed. Get trained and get armed. Protect yourselves. Protect your kids. And protect your life. Get trained and armed. Victim in what police are calling a murder suicide in Pocono Township. But investigators aren't releasing the name of the shooter at this time. 69 News reporter Rob Manch is in the studio. Rob, what more do we know? So Hostiel, the Lehigh County coroner, identified the shooting victim as 27-year-old Lailani Ramos. Domestic violence is always, always wrong. So just don't do it. It's not right and it's not fair. Don't play God Almighty. You're going to pay at the end. God bless this woman. God bless her family and friends. Damn. Lani Ramos. She was pronounced dead last night in Lehigh County at LVHN Muhlenberg Hospital, and her death was ruled a homicide. But the Monroe County coroner has not released the name of the man who shot her and then killed himself. Pocono Township Police tell us the shooting happened in a home on Ski Side Drive in the Mountain's Edge private community. And when they arrived, Detective Sergeant James Wagner says it was clear what had happened. A boyfriend shot and killed his girlfriend and he shot himself. The shooting happened shortly after 6.30 Tuesday night. Wagner says it was the victim, 27-year-old Lailani Ramos, who called for help. The female involved in the domestic uh, called 911 and requested the police, and when the officers responded here, uh, unfortunately, the event occurred. Ramos's cause of death has been ruled a homicide from multiple gunshot wounds. The boyfriend was pronounced dead at the scene. Wagner says there's no more danger to the community. The neighborhood is safe. Uh, this is an isolated incident, and no one's in danger in the neighborhood. Now, the Monroe County coroner told me earlier this morning they did perform the autopsy on the boyfriend, and they plan to release his identity later today. Haciel? We hate domestic violence. We hope you do, too. God bless the victim again. Damn. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.